with in Harper and Alex because Alex and Harper kind of have been like an abusive relationship because <laughs> like Harper just puts up with so much crap from Alex um which you know Selena and I put up with our fair share of crap with each other but it's a little bit more of a nurturing relationship in real life that's good <laughs> Um, so, with your real life BFF or just any friend, what's the number one quality that's most important to you? In a Trust. Um, I think, yeah, that's really important to me. I uh, I don't like to be around people that I know that I can't pour my heart and soul out to them, and it'll mm -hmm. stay with just them. You know what I mean? So, yeah. trust is a big one for me. Yeah. And what was it like to go back? You know, after you guys had been on break for a while, or if you thought it was done. And now you're back working uh, with not only with the whole cast, but with Selena as an executive producer. How is that different from just her as a fellow cast member? Um, it's it's not really that different. Um, she has a little bit more say in what happens, which is which is really it's really cool to watch her sort of grow up in that sense and just sort of be more in control of, of things and she has great suggestions and things like that but the only thing that's really changed is the amount of crap we can give her because <laughs> she has a great sense of humor about herself so we give her tons of crap we're like what's up EP why is this happening like we give her so much junk for it but uh, but she's got a great sense of humor so she takes it in stride it's good to have fun on set totally we have a lot of fun on set good um Oh, okay, so if you could go back and give yourself one piece of advice on that first day, that very first day, way back when yeah. Wizard started, what would you say to yourself? Um, I would just tell myself to enjoy every minute because I still look back on it and I can't believe how fast it flew by. I mean, it was five years of my life, but it it, uh, it just it went by so quickly. I mean, it, it feels like a story somebody told me, not like something that actually happened to me because it was just so crazy and I was so blessed to have that experience. So yeah, I would tell 14 year old me to just pace yourself and enjoy every minute of it. Don't take it for granted. You know? Yeah, those are crucial years in your life. They are, they are. I grew up on this show. So. Yeah, yeah. Good advice. Um, okay, so if the Disney Channel was your high school, what would your senior superlative or yearbook quote be? <laughs> That's a tough one. We actually had um, <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you what my yearbook uh, uh -oh. was, but um, I uh, we actually had uh, yearbooks. They made yearbooks for everybody oh. when the show ended, um, which was really sweet, and I hold mine very dear. But um, I it was something about me having very colorful language <laughs> was my yearbook quote because we all got little titles of like most whatever. That was mine. So. Okay, most <laughs> expletives. Most, uh, <laughs> most vocab words. <laughs> um, okay, if you, oh, you've probably been asked this before. If you could have one wizarding power, what oh would it be? Oh my god, I've never been asked that ever. <laughs> yeah. um, probably it would be to read people's minds, but be able to turn it off, because that would be horrible if, to just have it all the time. Um, having like a Mel Gibson, What Women Want flashback, mm -hmm. but... Um, but yeah, to read people's minds, but have an on and off switch. That's good. I like that you're very specific. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and but you got to be with that stuff. I can get wildly out of control. So let's say that the show is going to continue after mm -hmm. this special. Where do you think uh, your character would be, or where do you see Harper? Where would you like Harper to be in like five years? Well, what's interesting is, well, maybe not in five years, but we had the future Harper episode where they showed we had Rachel Dratch playing an older version of me, which was so rad. Um, and I end up writing stories about the Russos and sort of their adventures mm -hmm. and things like that. But Harper in five years. <sighs> I don't know. I think I feel like she would be interning at some kind of, you know, clothing fashion outlet or something. Or I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> She'd be doing something with clothes or writing, yeah. I guess. That sounds good. Yep, yeah, that's it actually.